Hi, and welcome to Is That So with Cementway. As you know, the aim of this show is to offer information about how government works and why systems are set up the way they are. This is with the intention just to give us a little bit of clarity about what our role could be in improving the governance in our country. And through this, we can create a politically empowered generation. Um, all right, so in this episode, we're going to talk about political parties. And we sampled a few thoughts about political parties. Um, have a look and then we'll get into the, the episode. political parties ni masiasa tu anapiga. Kila msia anaka mna agenda yake kila siku asubuhi. Akiamka nafikiria anakuwa anataka kusema hivi anasema hivi. Asaidi. Hata sasa hii nikiambiwa nipige kula siwezi amka kupiga. Kuna haja ndanganya sijafikiria ile chama ambayo niko ndani. Mimi ni mkenya tu lakini ile ushawishi nitapewa na wale wanachama wewe ndio utanifanya nijiunge na hiyo chama fulani. Chama somehow ina inatusaidia ndio lakini pia as for me na support uh, mtu individual. Ningependa kuwa member lakini hizi political party unajua wangu. Tunajua gani party lakini sisi sisi tunajua gani party ya kupea watu kura. Meaning yao tuonaji. All right. So we're talking about political parties today and we'll cover a few things in this episode. The first one is like, you know, we'll talk about what what is a political party? Uh, what are some ideologies that political parties have? And um, you know, we'll look at a brief history of what of how political parties have been in Kenya and uh, mention a few prominent parties here and there and then, you know, finally give some thoughts about what we think about political parties. All right. So, um what is a political party? It's just, it's really just a group of, you know, people who organize in a way so that they exercise political duty, maybe gain political power. <laughs> so it's really just a group of people who are trying to achieve something politically, even too. Uh, and then sometimes some parties may have some ideological, you know, thoughts. Uh, they might have some policy goals. Sometimes they may not even have. It's just a group of people who are trying to get into power. So it just really depends. Um so I'll, you know we keep talking about ideologies ideologies but really what are ideologies so what I'll do is I'll sample a few political parties and mention what some of their ideologies are um and then we'll try and see whether we can you know find out about that the first party I'd like us to talk about is the green party in Zambia so as the name suggests they are interested in greener societies <laughs> so the main focus point is actually uh, climate change the climate the environment so they mainly push policies around you know things that are good for the environment so come out to say burning plastics and things like that those are some of the things they they focus on so that's an ideology an ideology about the environment um another party that we can look at is the economic freedom fighters of south africa Uh, they call they call themselves EFF and they're led by this guy called Julius Malema I don't know if you remember this person who uh, mama give us a signal <laughs> that's the guy that's the guy who's their leader I'm waiting for a signal man um so they they have a few ideologies but I'll cover just one one of the things that they're propagating is something they call land expropriation without compensation what does that mean so basically wanasema they want the government to to take back the land that was taken away from the black people in south africa during apartheid from the white people who currently you know own it without compensating them at all so that that's actually a policy issue that that people <laughs> talk about so that party is really about uh, getting back what was lost by the blacks in south africa from the whites without paying them back imagine they believe some people believe that the white people should be compensated for for land that they stole. Anyway, this is a controversial issue. <laughs> But yes, that's another ideology that people look at, land issues, land rights. Um another party that we can look at is a, a party called the Republican Party in the US. <laughs> So the Republicans are conservatives. They are people who, you know, believe in family uh, issues. They believe in um, the family unit. So one of the things that they are against is abortion. So abortion is a policy issue that some people take a stance on. So they they call themselves pro-life. Uh, and that's some of the that's one of the policies that they push. So so we've covered like three ideologies. 
We talked about the land issue in South Africa. We talked about environment in Zambia. We talked about abortion, reproductive health rights um, in the US. So, so those are some of the ideologies that people kind of look at when they're looking at parties. Um, do you know any other party anywhere in the world, maybe? Uh, and what what ideologies do they think they, they believe in? What what policy goals do they have? If you know one of them, please put it down in the comments and let us know. Um, and yeah, so let's come closer home now. We are getting into Kenya. So uh, as you know, Kenya has many political parties. Uh, but let's start with history. What's one of the oldest uh, parties that we have? It's, it's Kanu. <laughs> you know, Kanu, Chama ya Baba na Mama. <laughs> so Kanu actually stands for uh, Kenyan African National Union. <laughs> Kenya African National Union, Kanu. Um, and it was formed in 1960. And at the time, one of the goals that they had was independence. So that was a policy goal that the party had. And once the party got this uh, goal and they got into power, um, they changed their policy goal. So they, they started looking at different things. And one of the things that they looked at was division of revenue. Um, and we have, we've done an episode about division of revenue and we we'll link it in the description if you'd like to have a look at that. And we make mention of something called Secessional Paper 10 of 1965. Basically, e paper equal to like it just said how revenue would be distributed, uh, and it was distributed in a way that the colonialists used to distribute revenue along the railway line. But we've talked about that in that episode, and if you want to see more details about that, it's in the description box if you'd like. Um, so when they were discussing this, and they ended up having this as a policy issue that they have. Walikosana, because some people were not for this and others were for it. And then Kanu split and that's how we got something called Kadu. Uh, but anyway, that's a long story. Um, and at the time, that was the ideology of Kanu. Um, Kanu has evolved. <laughs> and uh, at some point, Kanu was the only party in Kenya. Actually, between 1982 and 1991, Kenya was a single party state. And Kanu was the only party that ex existed. Um, as we headed into... 1991, uh, something changed, obviously. Kanu stopped being the only um, political party that we had in Kenya. And uh, Kenya became a multi-party state again. And uh, people call this uh, period of time the second liberation because it was a real struggle. Like, it was a serious struggle to like have other political parties uh, be involved in Kenya. Um, and uh, some of the people who led this struggle include maybe the late Kenneth Matiba, um, someone else there was uh, the late Charles Rubia, maybe uh, some few familiar names. Raila Odinga was actually one of the main people who led this struggle. Um, there were also student leaders at the time who were leading this struggle as well. Some of these people include maybe some familiar names, James Orengo, um, Miguna Miguna. Those are people who actually led this struggle at the time. Uh, a few more people, uh, Reverend Timothy Njoya and the church was really, really involved during this struggle. Um, and we have Saba Saba. Saba Saba Day, <laughs> which is on the 7th of July that commemorates this entire struggle. So yeah, that's how we came back to having um, multiple parties in Kenya. Um, some of the prominent parties that we have in, in Kenya include um, parties like NAC. I don't know if you guys remember NAC. Uh, NAC stands for the National Rainbow Coalition. And this was a party that ended Kanu's 39-year rule. Imagine those guys were in power for 39 years. Anyway, uh, Kanu came, I mean, NAC came into power in 2002 uh, through President Kibaki. Um, and they they talked about uh, a few, having a few ideologies in terms of uh, they were, you know, pro-democracy. <laughs> they wanted equitable distribution of resources. Um, but that, this um, ideologies were very non-specific because at the time, every single party actually talked about having those as their ideology. So it, it was it was interesting. But uh, eventually, NAC split up right after the elections. And um, yeah, I, I think it still exists, but uh, they split up into different uh, parties. One of the ones that still remains is NAC Kenya that's headed by Martha Karua. Uh, yeah, so that was NAC. Um, another prominent party that we have is ODM. Now, ODM stands for Orange Democratic Movement. And this was first formed in 2005 when we were having our first referendum. Uh, actually, the reason why they picked the orange, 
fun fact is because at the time the referendum that we were having had symbols <laughs> so if you wanted to vote yes you would vote banana if you wanted to vote no you would vote orange <laughs> so uh, as as you can imagine the guys who formed ODM were opposed to the constitution at that time and so they took the orange as a symbol from that experience so yeah actually ODM still exists till today the party leader is Raila Odinga um the ideology about ODM is is still a bit unclear like you can't really pinpoint at one thing that they're like this is us um so yeah that's that's uh, ODM another party is Jubilee Jubilee party Jubilee came into power in 2017 <laughs> because actually in 2013 the party that Uhuru ran Uhuru Kenyatta the president the party that he ran with was actually called TNA and Jubilee was as a result of a coalition of several um parties including TNA and URP which was led by William Ruto at the time so does Jubilee have a, an ideology I I don't see one. <laughs> I don't know one. Uh if you think Jubilee has an ideology please let me know in the comments. Uh but literally um they also talk about equitable distribution of resources. They also talk about the big four agenda which is uh, affordable housing. They talk about uh manufacturing, they talk about education, uh they talk about uh uh universal healthcare so i don't know if those are ideologies of the party or whether they are you know the president's uh, uh driven kind of thing it it's not very clear whether this is the party position or it's a president's agenda so yeah the the that's jubilee so <laughs> the next party that we have that we're going to feature here is actually a pretty new one uh, it's called ud mumis kya bolte ud Anyway, UDA is actually uh, short for United Democratic Alliance. Believe me, I didn't know that. I knew that like recently when I was preparing for this. Um so this is a new party and they claim that their main ideology is the bottom-up economic model. Uh we'll talk about this in another episode. We'll have a whole episode just to cover what is bottom-up economic model. Um but yeah, so they their ideology centers around the economy. Um then we'll talk about this in another episode i'll make sure uh to link you to that when it's out but yes um that that's what UD is about so yeah those those are just a few prominent uh political parties that we have in kenya um by by the way kenya has over 160 registered political parties 160 <laughs> um so i looked through some of the list and they have very interesting names one name that i saw that popped out is called Mwangaza 2 party. <laughs> and anyway, I don't know who the who the people behind this one are but I, I thought that was a funny name. Um what more political parties do you know that are in Kenya right now? Uh comment down below and let me know what what parties do you know? Do you know whether they have any ideology ideology behind it? Uh let me know, let me know. Um but yeah, so that's so we have 160 political parties. Imagine season in Indi. <laughs> Um so it's actually not that easy to register a political party in Kenya. Um all these details you can find uh, on the website of the Office of the Registrar of Political Parties who is the one who registers political parties and I'll attach that website below but just to name a few requirements that you need is actually you need to look for a name and a symbol that has not been used by another party <laughs> with those 160 other parties. Um that's why people come up with very interesting symbols. But they, what was the symbol for Kano do you know? It was actually a jogo. <laughs> That's why guys are like kanuni uh, a jogo whatever which guys. So people come up with very interesting symbols just because all those symbols have been used over and over again. Uh, the common sy- symbol that we see now is the UDA symbol is a is a wheelbarrow. Um so it's an interesting symbol. Uh another requirement that you need is that you have to have a party constitution. What what is your party? What are the guidelines of your party? Uh the other thing is you incur fees of up to about 600,000 Kenya shillings. You pass the bob. Me see you about you guys. That's a lot of money. Um and then the other the last requirement that you actually need is you need about 1000 members in at least 24 counties. Like wezi anzisha tu chama wewe peke yako you have to actually have members in at least 24 counties a thousand in at least 24 counties So yeah those those are the requirements if you if you want to start a political party baby that's you can you can 
start here <laughs> and then go to the to the website of the register of political parties and you'll find more more requirements that you can actually follow and register your own political party um so yeah another fun fact about political parties is that Kenya is one of the few african countries that has different political parties every election cycle but the most most countries will actually have uh, parties that they've had since independence two main parties that they've had since independence and probably a few others that come up a few like here and there but hizo zimebaki us we have new parties every time so i don't know is there is something wrong with us since we anyway you think about it and let me know let me know in the comments um yeah so they change every election cycle and so it's really difficult to pinpoint what exactly is the ideology of a specific party in Kenya so so that's what makes it really really hard but uh, we can start somewhere so uh, what is clear is that you can you can come up with your own ideology what is important to you uh, and then you can look for a party that actually addresses what is important to you so for example maybe um, you're interested in the environment um, you can look for a party that has ideologies about how government does business how government relates with private businesses for example that that could be an ideology maybe you don't want government to be too involved with private businesses maybe you want government to be involved with private businesses and uh, that's that's something you can look at um maybe do, do you care about abortion is that something that is important to you what does a specific party say about that that could be an ideology you, you look at it could be gay rights you know like is that something that is important to you that can be something that you you look at with every party um so yeah you can look at a number of things it can be about affordable housing it can be about economic models maybe that's something you're interested in it could be about taxation like what what does a party say how should we be taxed you know that that could be something that you you are interested in and if you are you can identify a party that relates close close to that um and then this way we can actually move the conversation around election away from you know the toxic ethnicity of how you knew it to and you know things like that and actually move into uh, conversations that are constructive and that could actually contribute to the country Um so yeah l- let me know what you think is is this something that you're interested in have you seen any party that is mildly close to what you're interested in you can also let me know um which party that is and how how are they mildly close to what you're interested in um and yeah as usual I'd really love to hear from you what what do you think about political parties in general what do you think about our history what do you think about us changing political parties every so often uh let me know in the comments i'd like to hear from you um and yeah that this has been our episode thanks for tuning in bye